What's up, Picture Perfect people? It is Katie from Picture Perfect Lawn Maintenance here to talk to you instead of exact lawn care related subjects today, I want to talk to you about something that big picture is a lot more important and that is men's health. As you may know, since 2003, November has been deemed the Men's Health Awareness Month. We're talking prostate cancer, testicular cancer, mental health, suicide rates, all of the important things. And it's been given the title Movember, hashtag Movember, be sure to check out their website to make that easy to follow. It's the biggest men's health awareness presence that's out there. It is so important and a subject that touches most people's lives directly or indirectly. I've been affected by pretty much every subject that falls under this umbrella based on the people that I care about. So I want to talk to you about it today because our friends over at Lazy Lawns, and be sure to check out their YouTube channel, are trying to do a spin-off of it to raise awareness called Movember with that W to make it lawn care related. See how that works? It's pretty cool. It's a great idea. This is a super important cause. One of the iconic things about the Movember movement that Movember is really embracing is the growing of a mustache to raise awareness for men's health issues. While all of my friends in this industry on other channels are able to naturally grow out their mustache, I can't do that yet. I'm, I'm working on it, just haven't really gotten there. So I've got this helpful little sticker on my face to kind of act as a pseudo mustache. So I'm going to be wearing this in a lot of my November videos to help raise that awareness. Um, but it's inspiring me a little bit to think about what it's like to be one of the men on these channels. So I'm going to have a few guest stars here that are some of my favorite personalities on those other channels to help me talk to you about the importance of being aware of men's health and what those issues exactly are and what you can do to make a difference in your health and the quality of your life and those of the people that care about you. What's up, you that we could get into at this point in the season, and that is Movember! Roll call for men's health awareness. I hope that y'all are getting on board with this subject like I am because it is so important. Lawn care is the best industry on the table, but all of us need to be responsible for our health so that we're able to continue giving our all to this important industry on a global scale. I know y'all come to me for not only the most objective statistical information possible, but also for a big enthusiastic way of presenting it. So I'm gonna hit you with some facts real quick just to give you an idea of the scope of importance that we have on this important subject. And be sure this month of November to get out there, use the hashtag Movember as well as Movember with a W to put it out there about this movement and check out Lazy Lawns to be able to be entered for a great sweepstakes giveaway with, with some awesome products and swag. All right, let's do this. On average, men have a five year shorter life expectancy than women do and are 24% less likely on a year to year basis to go to the doctor at all. Now, if you know me, you know I'm all about the science and correlation does not mean causation, but come on people, that's clearly a problem. If men are dying at a faster rate, there's no reason for that. 6.7% of the population is diagnosed with depression each year. And every hour, 60 men commit suicide. That's 60 men every hour. That's a man a minute that we're losing. And that's avoidable. That's 100% preventable. Men are three and a half times more likely to commit suicide than women are, and we have to do something about it. It's our responsibility as men in this industry supporting one another in awesome and amazing ways. We need to support each other where our health is concerned as well. But men's health doesn't stop at mental health. One in two men, one in two, is going to be diagnosed with cancer at some point in their lives. One in nine men is going to be diagnosed with prostate cancer. And of all the cancers that a man could get when they are in their younger adult life, testicular cancer is the number one cancer that men are contracting. Now it's harder to prevent cancer. We're outside, we're in the sun, so it's something that we're exposed to on a daily basis. That's why it's important to wear your PPE when you're applying chemicals and always read the label. You know the kind of soapbox that I can get onto about that, but at the end of the day, if you have anything in your lifestyle or your profession that's putting you at risk of cancer, which is everyone across the board, you need to be going to the doctor and undergoing early screening tests so that you can get a diagnosis before it's something that is out of control and way more life-threatening. The subject of men's health is a huge deal and I want you guys to be healthy and support yourselves the way that you've supported me. Come on, guys, just go to the doctor. 
take care of yourself, eat a vegetable, find some ways to improve the balance of serotonin and dopamine in your brain. Brain chemistry is just as sexy as fertilizer and herbicide chemistry is, so be sure to learn and educate yourself on mental health and physical health channels on YouTube the same way that you're following mine so that you're able to be your best self possible. Thanks for watching. Be sure to do what you love and love what you do. Rock out, keep it cool, stay healthy, go see a doctor. Take care, y'all! Hey everyone, welcome back for yet another week on our channel. It's raining outside, doesn't seem to want to let up, so I'm not going to be able to show you much in the lawn, but I do want to talk to you about three ways that you can improve your health as a man, as well as reduce the potential impact that a late stage diagnosis could have on you and your family. First, I need you to go to the doctor. We're giving our lawns a checkup on a regular basis. We're down there on our hands and knees getting close and figuring out what's wrong, but you need a checkup like that too. And in between your checkups, I need you to be doing a self-exam. Self-examination isn't just for the ladies, and while a prostate exam might be hard to do on yourself, testicular examination is something that you can do on a regular basis. Any changes to what you feel on your friends could be a sign that there's something wrong, so you need to be doing this on a regular basis and just go nuts. Number two, make small changes to your diet and exercise that can have a long-term impact. Simply getting your burger without the fries can make a big difference. Just cut out one carb, supplement it with one veggie each day, and you're going to be a lot better off than you were before. A lot of us out here taking care of our lawns are already pretty active in our yard, but be sure to supplement your activity with something different to mix things up and get better results. And number three, make time for preventative care. We all hear from our wives that we're really stubborn when we say that we don't want to go to the doctor, but if we were actually to go to the doctor, we might be able to find out that something's preventable instead of having to fix it later on. Trust me, at the end of the day, it's a lot fewer blood, sweats, tears, and dollars to just go ahead and go to the doctor for a checkup and get some blood work done on a regular basis than it is to find out way later and down the road when it's a lot harder to fix that you might have cancer. For more information this month on how you can keep yourself healthy, be sure to comment and subscribe below, and go check out the Lazy Lawns YouTube channel so that you can be entered in the sweepstakes giveaway for this special and impressive event. Oh, hello. Welcome back. I'm just sitting here on the floor because I'm relaxed and easy to get along with. I'm talking to this plant about how it can grow better and do what it needs to do as a, as a plant better. That's what I do, that's what we all do, that's our industry and we're great at it. And that's what's really important, we provide for our families, we provide great results to our community and we further the cause of making this industry cutting edge and progressive. But have you ever thought about how it's really easy for us to make grass grow, but it's a lot harder for us to grow ourselves as individuals and as people? 70% of men consider themselves somebody that their friends can talk to and confide in for advice and just a shoulder to lean on. At the same time, only 40% of men consider themselves somebody that's able to ask others for help or a shoulder to lean on. That, uh, that disparity is something that, for a lot of us, can be a big issue. It's a lot easier for us to give help than it is for us to ask for it. But we have to think about what kind of model we're setting for our children. You know, do we want them to isolate themselves and feel like they don't have any allies in dealing with bigger issues? Or do we want them to feel like they have somebody that they can talk to by seeing us talk to others? You know, just, just like this plant here, sometimes we don't feel good. And sometimes we need a little help. And that's okay. It's important for us to build a community of people that we can talk to, just sit on the floor and hash it out, so that we're able to get things off our chest and not carry the burden by ourselves. If you watch my channel or attend my conference, you know that I'm big on trying to progress the industry and find what's new out there that can make the whole system of soil science and plant fertility better. So if we're all progressing and developing and growing in the way that we view turf management, we should be doing that too in the way that we view our mental health and the way that we take care of ourselves as men. 
So the next time that you feel overwhelmed because of the work that you're doing in our industry or something at home or just having a bad day, take time to breathe, center yourself, and remember what's important. And hey, it doesn't hurt to have a glass of something good. <laughs> All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions about Movember, No Shave November, or anything else, be sure to comment below. Thank you again to my guest stars that joined me for this video and gave their manly input into this extremely important cause. I didn't figure you guys would want to hear me preach on about men's health since it's not exactly my forte, but I do appreciate the attention that you've given to this important subject. To help us spread awareness, please, on any social media platform in which you participate, use the hashtag Movember or the alternative hashtag that we're really running with, Movember. November. It doesn't sound any different, but either way, the hashtags are going to make a big difference to help spread awareness. And if you go to the Lazy Lawns YouTube channel, check out their videos there, you'll be able to enter for the giveaway sweepstakes that a ton of people are contributing to, including yours truly. My mustache is holding on by its last hairs, so I'm going to wrap things up. But be sure to stay tuned on our channel by subscribing, since we have a lot of great content coming up the rest of this month. I hope you guys have a great Movember, and I hope that you're taking care of yourselves. We'll talk to you again soon. Oh, that's really hard with the mustache.